Hey everybody, it's Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And that means I spend a lot of time in the Windjammer, Royal Caribbean's buffet. So with that, I'm going to go through a lot of quick tips on how to best survive the Windjammer, make the best experience out of this. This area, as you can see, can get very, very crowded. Its peak times are going to be on embarkation day when people are waiting for their rooms to open up. And so they're sitting in here with all of their luggage and putting it in the seat beside of them to take that chair. And it's going to be busy from about 8 a.m. to about 10 a.m. every single morning. Now, you see in front of me there, there's Chops Grill. This is a great place for, if you're in a grand suite or higher in that concierge club, or a Pinnacle member to be able to get out of this melee a little bit and to have a more quiet and nicer experience with warm food delivered to you. Here on the left, you have the very first station you're going to come to. Do not feel like you have to stop at this first station. The food in the back, I find, is often better selection of food, um, and there's going to be less people back there that you don't have to navigate through. You're also going to see that a lot of the tables are really taken, so you're going to want to start kind of eyeing where these tables are and where you can sit. They do have communal tables. You see this large group here taking one of those at the right, but if you're a solo traveler like myself where there's only two of you, this is often a great spot to sit with a few other folks um, to be able to enjoy your meal. So don't feel like that if there's two people there and it's a table of six, you cannot join them. You're going to have your coffee, water, and beverages over here on the right-hand side. Always pick those up after you get your food just because it's one more thing to have to balance. And you're going to see your plates and silverware directly in front of you. These are the ends of the stations. Pro tip, put that silverware in your pocket. That way you have another free hand to be able to grab food and move around. You see here, everybody is just kind of rushing the buffet. Sometimes you'll see people queuing up here. This is where the omelet station is, um, this, the higher end proteins, if you will. But other times you're gonna see people just um, going in. I don't know the right way for people to advance on the buffet, if you will, if we need to queue or if you can just jump in. I personally say if you can fit there, go ahead and get your food um, versus waiting on people to go through. It makes it a little bit more efficient. But let me know down in the comments what you all do. As you see here, it's also still full. Behind this wall on the right, though, there are additional tables that you can sit at. So make sure you're even looking back there. I think they're a little bit hidden, and you're oftentimes going to find more seats there. You're going to have on the left and the right-hand side, we're now on the left-hand side when you walk in, um, the same identical food that we had on the other side. So as you see, this side is less crowded from a line perspective. So when you walk into the buffet, always go to the left side. I think it's most people's inclination here in the States to go to the right side, the same side that we drive on. But I find that if you go counter to that, you're going to be able to find less of a crowd and be able to find more space. There is a full bar here, so as soon as you come in, if you want to use your uh, drink vouchers that you have on your daily coupons from Crown and Anchor, or you want to use um, the drink package, you can get fresh squeezed orange juice. In addition to, you can get alcoholic beverages. But the best hidden secret is Giovanni's right here. You can go and sit in Giovanni's after you get your plate of food to eat. They'll have one door open, so it looks semi-closed, but it is actually open. It is a much quieter experience, and it is wonderful to go in there and eat breakfast okay. to get out of that crowd a little bit and not Got some it. of that the hustle sense. and bustle. All right, everybody. Hope these quick tips will help you enjoy your experience here at the Windjammer Marketplace. This is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.